Hello friends. Today's tarot spread is the survivor spread. This is the spread to use when you are feeling trapped in either an abusive or a destructive situation. It is a nine card reading that uses the full tarot deck. And as with all tarot readings, this is not a specific solution to a problem. It is things to consider. It's a series of symbols to help find a path. As always, this is also just a demonstration of how I would interpret the cards if I had a client across from me, and this is what came up in this spread. That being said, we're going to get right into it. As a quick reminder, you will now find links to my personal website, my Discord server, and my Buy Me a Coffee page in the description below. Feel free to check it out. So, getting straight into this spread, card number one is the card that represents the client, the person who is asking for the reading. Card number two, what is their greatest fear in getting out of this destructive, this abusive situation? Card number three, what actions can be taken? Card number four, who can you lean on for assistance? Card five, why are you hesitating? Card six, the first step. Card seven, the dangers of taking the first step. Card eight, who else must you consider as part of your plan to get out of the situation? And card nine, the beginning of your new life. So this spread is rather stretched out and tall. I'll, I'll need to do some shifting of cards to make it fit, but it shouldn't be that bad. After all, I am getting more used to this camera setup. Wow, those just didn't want to shuffle in. Okay. So we have card one, card two. Oh, and I'm using the wizard's tarot for this. Sorry, I, I forgot to mention that. And then three, four, five. Making sure I'm putting things in the right places. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now I'm just gonna keep this off. Okay, so card number one, representing the querent, the client. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work sometimes referred to as the craftsman card. It is about the daily cycles of doing what some might see monotonous, but can bring great joy. It appears to me that if this is resonating with you, if this was for a client across my table, this is a person who has put a lot of work into the current situation. They have done as much as they can to make it a good one, but there's, I mean, it takes two to tango. Their efforts, their good works are being ignored. Card number two is what are the fears? We have the Knight of Cups. When things are good, they're so good. The other person in this scenario can be so charming, in love with life, but can also become incredibly and dramatically focused on specific aspects of the relationship or specific tasks, and that is hurting the current. It is an on-again, off-again love, not a true and consistent one. Card number three, the action you can take. It's the Seven of Cups. It's quite literally make a choice. You've already thought it out. You see the various options in front of you, so it's time to take action. Pick one of those, as in the picture, seven goblets, and drink deep. Take a step. Start moving. Card four. Who can help you? We have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is someone who is young, who is still learning. They are so full of life. 
They are incredibly earnest. Also, in this specific case, they are not afraid of the other side of this abusive situation. Perhaps foolishly, or perhaps with reason. Each situation is unique. Card five, what makes you hesitate? We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about beginnings, changes in home and family life. That can be intimidating, that can be frightening, or it can be exciting. Freedom comes at a cost, and that cost is choice. And then living with the consequences. Card number six, the first step. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles is typically the slowest of the knights, just like the element of Earth that they embody. But once they get moving, they roll quickly. In this case, the Knight of Pentacles is saying the first step is to move swiftly. Don't delay. Once you have made that decision, once you have made that choice to make a change, go after it. Card seven, the dangers of taking the first step. We have the Four of Swords reversed. Typically, the Four of Swords represents rest, patience. Being reversed, instead of taking rest, it's inaction due to fear. It is being overwhelmed. Change is hard, especially quick change. The danger is being paralyzed. You need to keep moving. Card number eight, who else must you consider as you make this change? As you escape and survive this abusive or destructive scenario? We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of completeness, specifically of mental endeavors. In this case, who else do you need to consider? Consider the others who could be affected, who could then be the victim if you're no longer the target. Help them escape as well. Find that complete picture. Card number nine. We have the Four of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups in this scenario being reversed is wallowing in the emotion. It is being swallowed by the depression, by the negative emotions. That's only the first step, and it's to be expected that given time, you will overcome it. You can overcome that. That brings us to the end of this demonstration of the survivor spread, as always. Walk in the light, my friends. Bye.